The casting process for the 1975 movie Jaws was a crucial step in the film's success. Spielberg wanted real actors, not just stars, which guided his decisions. For the role of police chief Martin Brody, Spielberg chose Roy Scheider. Scheider's strong, Everman quality won over Spielberg. He saw Brody as a man out of water, which Scheider could portray authentically. Richard Dreyfuss was cast as oceanographer Matt Cooper. Dreyfuss's audition was exceptional, demonstrating his ability to bring depth and humor to the character. His chemistry with Scheider during auditions solidified his casting. The pivotal role of the shark hunter, Quint, was given to Robert Shaw. Spielberg was impressed by Shaw's intensity and believed he could make Quint both frightening and sympathetic. Shaw's contribution to the film is now legendary. The casting process also included screen tests and chemistry checks. These tests helped Spielberg see how the actors interacted and how their characters would play off each other. The casting of Jaws was a critical component in the film's success, helping to create a compelling and suspenseful story. Steven Spielberg, the director of Jaws, had a clear vision to create a thrilling and immersive film experience. He drew inspiration from classic monster movies and aimed to build suspense through the use of point of view shots, putting the audience in the shark's perspective. Spielberg's style is characterized by his ability to blend genres and create a sense of realism. In Jaws, he combined elements of horror, adventure, and drama to craft a compelling story. He also focused on authenticity, using a real mechanical shark for filming and shooting on location in Martha's Vineyard. Collaboration was key to Spielberg's approach. He worked closely with his cast and crew, fostering a positive and creative environment. For instance, he and composer John Williams developed the iconic Jaws theme together, using it to heighten the film's tension and suspense. Spielberg's vision for Jaws was to make the shark feel like a genuine threat, rather than relying on cheap scares. He achieved this by building anticipation and using the shark sparingly, allowing the audience's imagination to fill in the gaps. This technique contributed to the film's enduring impact and influence on the horror genre. Jaws, the 1975 classic directed by Steven Spielberg, is a movie that has left an indelible mark on the film industry. It tells the story of a small coastal town terrorized by a great white shark. The movie's groundbreaking special effects, memorable score, and iconic performances have made it a timeless classic. Did you know that the mechanical shark used in the movie was named Bruce after Spielberg's lawyer? Or that the movie's success led to a fear of sharks, known as Shark Panic in the 1970s? There are many more surprising and entertaining facts about Jaws that will leave you shocked, amused, and sad. One of the most enduring qualities of Jaws is its ability to create suspense and tension without relying on special effects. The movie score, composed by John Williams, is a masterclass in building tension and anticipation. The movie's themes of man versus nature and the fear of the unknown continue to resonate with audiences today. Out of all the roles in Jaws, my personal favorite is Chief Martin Brody, played by Roy Scheider. His portrayal of a small-town police chief who must confront his fear of the water to protect his town is both relatable and compelling. We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Jaws. Do you have a favorite scene or quote from the movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. The production of the 1975 movie Jaws was a massive endeavor with numerous challenges in set design, location, and logistics. The film's primary location was Martha's Vineyard, chosen for its isolated beaches and quaint seaside atmosphere, which added authenticity to the story. The set design was complex, with the most notable being the creation of the mechanical shark, nicknamed Bruce. Engineered by Robert and Maddie, Bruce was a technical marvel of its time, featuring three separate systems for movement, jaws, and head articulation. However, the shark often malfunctioned, leading to significant delays in reshoots. To film the underwater scenes, the crew used a special cage submerged in a 12-foot deep water tank. This setup allowed for controlled conditions and greater safety, especially when dealing with the mechanical shark. 
Additionally, the production used innovative underwater cameras, some of which were housed in waterproof casings to capture the necessary shots. The film's logistical challenges included dealing with unpredictable weather, tides, and currents during the ocean shoots. Furthermore, the film's tight schedule and budget constraints, coupled with the frequent malfunctions of Bruce, added to the complexity of the production. Despite these hurdles, Jaws became a groundbreaking film, demonstrating the potential of combining practical effects, innovative technologies, and engaging storytelling. The movie has left an indelible mark on cinema history and continues to captivate audiences to this day. The 1975 film Jaws is a highly acclaimed and influential movie, having won two Academy Awards for Best Sound and Best Film Editing. It was also nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards, and later won the Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture Drama. The performances in the film were also recognized, with Richard Dreyfuss winning a BAFTA Award for his role as the oceanographer, Matt Hooper. The movie is suitable for most audiences, as it contains minimal gore, graphic language, and nudity. However, the suspenseful drama and tension throughout the film make it engaging and interesting. While the special effects were adequate for the time, some may argue that more gore could have made it feel more realistic. The dialogue between the main characters, Sheriff Brody, Captain Quinn, and Matt Hooper, at times slows down the pacing of the film. But overall, it is a highly regarded movie. The success of Jaws is evident in the numerous sequels, clones, and similar movies that have been produced as a Risu Lieutenant. Its impact on the film industry is undeniable, and it continues to be a popular and influential movie to this day. In conclusion, Jaws is a well-crafted and impactful film with strong performances and engaging storytelling. Its influence on popular culture and the film industry is a testament to its enduring appeal and significance. The music in the 1975 film Jaws plays a crucial role in creating suspense and enhancing the film's emotional tone. The score was composed by John Williams, who created a simple yet effective musical theme to represent the shark. The main theme, also known as the shark cue, is a repetitive, rising motif of only two notes, played by the string section. This motif is used throughout the film to build tension and signal the shark's presence, even when it's not on screen. Williams drew inspiration from the works of classical composers like Richard Wagner and Gustav Mahler. He aimed to create a score that would not only complement the film's narrative, but also stand on its own as a piece of music. The result is a minimalist yet powerful score that significantly contributes to the film's impact. The soundtrack also includes other pieces of music, such as the Sea Creature Cue, which is a more lyrical and melodic piece used to contrast the shark's menacing theme. The use of contrasting musical themes helps to heighten the emotional impact of the film and keeps the audience engaged. The musicians involved in the creation of the Jaws score also played a significant role. Recorded at the famous Warner Brothers scoring stage in Hollywood, the score features some of the best studio musicians of the time. The string section, in particular, was crucial in creating the haunting and suspenseful sound of the shark's theme. In creating the score for Jaws, Williams and the other musicians involved were able to elevate the film to new heights, creating a soundtrack that has become just as iconic as the film itself. The music's simplicity and effectiveness have made it a classic example of how music can significantly enhance a film's narrative and emotional tone. This film, ranked the second greatest thriller by the FI, is Jaws from 1975. Interestingly, the limerick Quint recites in the movie is the same as one used by Robert Shaw in the 1976 film Swashbuckler. The production faced unique challenges. As stated by Richard Dreyfuss, they began filming without a script, cast, or even a functional shark. The opening scene the movie starts with a shocking scene where a young woman is attacked and killed by a great white shark while swimming in the ocean. The scene is shot from the shark's point of view, which creates a sense of suspense and terror. According to the film's director, Steven Spielberg, this scene was intended to set the mood for the rest of the movie. The performance of the actress, who was unknown at the time, was so convincing that many people believe she was actually killed during the filming.
In the filming of Jaws, the lighthouse scene near the beach is an actual one located on Martha's Vineyard. Due to a billboard obstructing the view, special effects were used in post-production to make it appear as if the lighthouse had moved. Initially, Steven Spielberg was hesitant to hire Roy Scheider, fearing he would play a typical tough guy, similar to his role in The French Connection. However, Scheider was ultimately cast and delivered a more nuanced performance. The character of Quint, played by Robert Shaw, was based on Craig Kingsbury, a local fisherman with a unique personality. Kingsbury, who was hired to help Shaw with the local dialect, ended up inspiring many of Quint's mannerisms and lines in the script. His eccentric personality and shark stories were recorded and incorporated into the film, making Quint a more authentic and memorable character. Released in 1975, the movie Jaws made a significant cultural and social impact. Directed by Steven Spielberg, this film resonated with audiences due to its unique blend of horror, suspense, and summer blockbuster elements. It tells the story of a small coastal town terrorized by a great white shark and the local sheriff's quest to protect the community. Jaws left a lasting impression on pop culture with its iconic poster, music, and quotable lines becoming instantly recognizable. The film's success led to the creation of the summer blockbuster genre influencing the way Hollywood approached filmmaking and marketing. Moreover, Jaws contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. At the time, it sparked conversations about beach safety and shark conservation. The film also tapped into broader anxieties and fears, reflecting societal concerns about the unknown and the potential dangers lurking beneath the surface. In summary, Jaws captivated audiences with its thrilling storytelling and memorable characters leaving a lasting impact on pop culture and contributing to discussions on relevant social themes. In the blockbuster film Jaws, the character Quint can be seen drinking Narragansett beer, a popular brand in New England, and a sponsor of the Boston Red Sox. The beer slogan, Hi Neighbor, Have a Gansett, was well known at the time. Despite the film's massive success, actor Robert Shaw, who played Quint, did not receive any payment due to tax evasion issues. He had to forego his salary to resolve his tax debt. In terms of casting, Charlton Heston was considered for the role of Chief Brody, while Jeff Bridges, Timothy Bottoms, John Voight, and Jan Michael Vincent were all in the running for the role of Hooper. Ultimately, the roles went to Roy Scheider, Richard Dreyfuss, and Robert Shaw. Jaws, the 1975 thriller directed by Steven Spielberg, received widespread critical acclaim and strong audience reactions. The film's suspenseful storytelling and groundbreaking special effects transformed the Hollywood landscape, turning it into a blockbuster sensation. Roger Ebert, a renowned film critic, praised Jaws as an astonishingly good movie and highlighted its superbly constructed narrative. He also lauded the film's ability to create tension and suspense, even when the shark wasn't visible on screen. Pauline Kael, another prominent critic, commended the film's exciting and accomplished action sequences and its extraordinary atmosphere of dread. Audiences were captivated by the film's intense story and thrilling shark attacks. Jaws became the highest grossing film of its time, breaking box office records and establishing a new standard for Hollywood blockbusters. Jaws received numerous award nominations, including four Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Film Editing, and Best Original Dramatic Score. While it didn't win in the Best Picture category, Jaws did win for Best Sound and Best Film Editing. These accolades were significant for those involved in the film, as they recognized the exceptional talent and hard work that went into making Jaws a success. The film's impact on the industry can still be felt today, as it paved the way for future blockbusters and solidified Steven Spielberg's status as a leading director in Hollywood. The film's enduring success has also led to a dedicated fan base and a cultural legacy that continues to resonate with audiences. You have to to make them safe, but those beaches will be open for this weekend. Steven Spielberg's film, Jaws, transformed the movie industry when it opened on June 20, 1975. Originally slated for a Christmas 1974 release, production delays pushed it back to the following summer 
a time when poor films were typically released. However, Jaws was so well received that beachgoers flocked to theaters, making it the highest grossing film at the time. Spielberg holds the record for having the most films that set the North American opening weekend record, including Jaws, Indiana Jones, and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones, and The Last Crusade, Jurassic Park, and The Lost World Jurassic Park. Additionally, two sequels to his films, Jaws 2 and Jurassic World, also broke the record despite him not directing them. Robert Shaw, who played Quentin Jaws, had an impressive filmography. He appeared in two Best Picture Academy Award winners, A Man for All Seasons, and The Sting, as well as the Best Picture nominee Jaws. Jaws' success marked the beginning of the summer blockbuster era, with movie theaters filled to capacity during a time when people typically enjoyed outdoor activities. Its impact on the movie industry is still felt today, with its opening weekend record only surpassed by films released in subsequent years. During the filming of Jaws, the mechanical shark, named Bruce, often broke down. This led director Steven Spielberg to rely on subtle suggestions, like revealing the shark's silhouette to create suspense. This innovative approach contributed to the film's intense atmosphere. The cast faced challenges too. Actor Richard Dreyfuss, who played Matt Hooper, had a fear of water, which he had to overcome for his role. He even fainted during a scene where a dead body was used as a prop. The production was moved to Martha's Vineyard due to its calm waters, but the local fishermen were enlisted to help catch real sharks for the film. This caused some tension with the crew, as the fishermen would often return with caught sharks while the crew was still filming. The film's iconic score, composed by John Williams, was initially met with skepticism. Spielberg wasn't sure about the two-note motif, but Williams insisted it would work. The score's simplicity and effectiveness became one of the most recognizable elements of the film. Late night filming and long hours took a toll on the crew. Roy Scheider, who played Chief Brody, said that working on Jaws was like being in the army, only we were getting paid more. Despite the hardships, the cast and crew formed a bond that lasted long after the film's release. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the challenges and triumphs of making Jaws, a film that not only changed the movie industry, but also left a lasting impact on its cast, crew, and audiences. The character Quint in the movie Jaws tells an inaccurate story about the USS Indianapolis, claiming that sharks took 600 sailors' lives. However, the truth is that sailors died from various causes, including drinking seawater, drowning, and murder. The producers later admitted that had they thoroughly read the book more than once, they would have anticipated the difficulties of filming the movie and might not have made it. In the movie Stakeout, Richard Dreyfuss's character is referenced when Emilio Estevez's character says, This was no boating accident. This line is a nod to Dreyfuss's role in Jaws. It is worth noting that the production of Jaws was not without its challenges, and the movie's success is a testament to the hard work and creativity of the cast and crew. Despite the inaccuracies in the USS Indianapolis story and the difficulties faced during filming, Jaws remains a classic movie that continues to captivate audiences. Jaws, released in 1975, is a groundbreaking film in many ways. It revolutionized the summer blockbuster genre and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Directed by Steven Spielberg, Jaws is based on Peter Benchley's novel about a giant man eating shark that terrorizes a small beach town. The movie's success can be attributed to its innovative marketing strategies and pioneering use of special effects. The mechanical shark, named Bruce, was a significant achievement in animatronics at the time, and its menacing presence on screen created a new level of suspense and terror for movie goers. Jaws' influence can be seen in many subsequent films, particularly in the horror and thriller genres. The film's use of music to build tension, such as the iconic Da Dum, Da Dum score by John Williams, has been copied and adapted in countless movies since. Additionally, Jaws helped establish the idea of the summer blockbuster with studios releasing high-profile films during the summer months to capitalize on the success of Jaws. The film also inspired a number of sequels and adaptations, including three direct sequels, a theme park ride, and even a musical. 
It has become a cultural touchstone, with references to the film appearing in various forms of media, from television shows to video games. In short, Jaws is a landmark film that has left an indelible mark on the film industry and popular culture. Its innovative use of special effects, marketing strategies, and music have influenced countless films, and its legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. groundbreaking film Jaws, sports announcer Charlie Jones provides the voice for a fictional baseball game during a beach scene, although it was later revealed that the shooting star he announces was added in post-production. The film's release was strategic, with MCA executive Lou Wasserman limiting its initial showings to 490 theaters to create a buzz and ensure full theaters. This approach became the standard for future film releases. Despite some urban legends surrounding the film's production, such as the use of real shooting stars, many elements of the movie were carefully planned and executed to maximize its impact. Hey guys. You guys okay over there? The production of the movie Jaws was not without its challenges. As the shoot extended from 55 days to 159, the budget ballooned as well, earning the nickname flaws among the crew. Despite these difficulties, the movie has left a lasting impact. Interestingly, director Brian Singer has named one of his production companies, Bad Hat Harry Productions, after a famous line from Jaws. This demonstrates the film's enduring influence in the world of cinema. In the movie, when the shark attacks Hooper's cage, there is live footage of a real great white with a rope hanging from its mouth. The shark's mouth in this scene is noticeably smaller than the mechanical shark used later in the film. Noted shark photographers Ron and Valerie Taylor, along with shark expert Rodney Fox, filmed these scenes specifically for Jaws. To accommodate the smaller size of the great white sharks they filmed, the Taylors constructed a smaller version of Hooper's shark cage. They used either a small mannequin or a little person inside the cage. However, during filming, one of the sharks became entangled in the cage's cables and destroyed it while trying to escape. The footage was so compelling that the script was altered to reflect the destroyed cage and Hooper's escape by hiding on the ocean floor. Despite the initial refusal of the little person to return to the damaged miniature cage, the resulting scenes added an element of excitement to the movie. Jaws has since become a classic, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and influencing future filmmakers. If you have memories and experiences related to the 1975 movie Jaws, we'd love to hear them. This groundbreaking film may have impacted your perspective on cinema, and sharing your thoughts could enrich the conversation for other movie enthusiasts. Did Jaws leave a lasting impression on you? How did it influence your view of cinema or specific film genres? By sharing your experiences, you can contribute to a fascinating exploration of this classic movie's influence and legacy. We invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more cinematic discussions. Your engagement helps us create a welcoming and vibrant community for film lovers of all ages. Let's celebrate the magic of movies together. How's that?